No, that should be on. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Arrow Wender, and welcome to the very first episode of Arrow Wender Reads the News. Both the title and the setting are a work in progress, because I'm going to A&M next week. But, let's go ahead and start the very first episode. In this episode, we have a robbery with bug spray. We have uh, almost a massacre in Africa. And I do believe that we have machine guns being used by the Tea Party. Let's go ahead and get it started. Alright, for our first story, we have an article where a man attempts to rob a bartender in Oregon, about two days ago, I believe, using a can of bug spray. I just really hope he was not using Off, because I'm sure Off does not want to use that in their advertising campaign. Use our bottles to rob banks! Not the best thing when normally it's marketed towards children and concerned parents about said children. The police gave an interview where they said, This is an extremely unusual case. We've had robberies in the past, but the idea of using bug spray as a weapon is a first. However, the Huffington Post reports that back in November, a man was ro who robbed a bank in Rancho Santa Fe, California, it was armed with pesticide sprayer. I would love to see this become just a widespread spree across America where people are like challenged to attempt to rob people using assorted spray. Spray cheese. That stuff that comes out of bottles like the spray cheese. I would love to see that. I will cheese you to death. No, don't take my money. Just, just take it all. Don't spray me. Mmm. Don't you dare make me go get the feta cheese. Time for our second story. Now this comes from CNN, and most likely a lot of y'all heard about this, because it's really an atrocity. The headline reads, South of Africa shocked by police shootings at mine. Now the Saf South African police um, came upon a platinum mine where the workers were essentially revolting. They had stri strike, they had the, you know, what striking is, and they refused to work. And the police have now come forward and listed all the numbers about what happened and how they reply to said striking. They killed everyone. The police, meanwhile, explained themselves at a news conference giving reporters the grim toll. 34 mine workers killed, 78 others wounded, 259 arrested on various charges, including malicious damage to property, armed robbery, illegal gathering, and possession of weapons. The police said we're, they were forced to use utilize maximum force to defend themselves. Here's my problem with that. These are workers striking about bad, essentially bad working conditions at a platinum mine in South Africa. Probably didn't have to use maximum force. I don't really see the uh, rationality there. It's pretty much like, oh, there's a bunch of poorer people striking and attempting to raise their self welfare and make more money. Let's shoot them all. That is not going to end well. Whoever issued that command for the police officers to execute a crowd um, probably didn't realize or should have realized that the entire world would hear about this. You cannot just execute 34 people, wound 78, and arrest 259 without the world kind of hearing about it. I'd be surprised if we, this is not used as an example for more uh, unions to use an example and probably get, get their way. The fact that they were attempting so hard to not let the workers get their way will probably let the workers get their way in the end. Alright, this next story is significantly more lighthearted. The uh, Marion Merriam Webster's Collegiate Dictionary has now added several new words to the dictionary and you know every year they update the uh, dictionary with more words for the English language. Within this new update they added the F-bomb, bucket list, and my favorite, sexting. Apparently that's a word now. So they added Copernicium, which is a new element that I heard about a long time ago. Energy drink. Game changer. Kind of surprised yeah, energy drink wasn't already a word. Gastropub. If anyone knows about a gastropub, please tell me in the comments. Never heard about it. Is it like a really gassy pub? In Britain, are there just like hundreds of pubs filled with flatulence? Is it a gassy pub? That'd be awesome. Uh, mashup. Uh, but by far, the most two here that are most interesting are F-bomb and sexting. It's not even the F word. The F word has been in the dictionary for a long time. It is the actual F dash bomb that now is a word. I thought the fact that we're not saying the word makes it inherently not a word. Rather than using the F bomb, the actual F bomb, you can now use F bomb. So, F bomb this, let's go to the next story. Alright, for our fourth story, we have, as this headline reads, 
Machine Gun Social Planned by Asheville Tea Party. A North Carolina, tea, a North Carolina Tea Party is getting really creative with a fundraiser slated for next month. On September 29th, the Asheville Tea Party is hosting a machine gun social at an indoor indoor arms range in Brevard, North Carolina. I don't live in North Carolina, I live in Texas, and I am surprised that we do not have these in Texas. According to the event's flyer, attendees can give $25 for a 30 round magazine on a 9mm submachine gun of their choice. An HK MP5, an Israeli Uzi, or a Swedish I, a Swedish I, apparently, there is no more description. Guests can spend $35 for 30 rounds on an AK 47, while the most ambitious, the most ambitious of Tea Party Patriots can drop 50 bucks for 30 rounds on an M16. I'm not even in the tea party and I want to do this. No problem, like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm a member of the tea party. Are you sure? What are your beliefs? Whatever you believe, just give me the gun. I would want, I want to shoot it. That's awesome! I live in Texas and they don't have these things. I, we're Texans! We love guns! We, how, what? It just blows my mind that North Carolina... Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Air wonder, how dare you? Guns are evil. How can you possibly promote this? I like guns, I like shooting them, this is cool. I would definitely get a lot more into politics if they somehow incorporated shooting at me. That sounds really bad. Alright, for kind of a little bit more serious uh, story, the Moscow City Court upholds a 100 year ban on gay pride events. Um, the article reads from USA Today, the Moscow City Court has reconfirmed its 100 year ban on gay pride events in the Russian capital. Russia Today, <laughs> Russia Today reports, USA Today reports, what well, Russia Today reports, I'm sorry, are there just like Nicaragua Today, Brazil Today, is there just a Today in every single country in like every city that, <laughs> Texas Today reports that Arrow Ender wants to go to a tea party at r rally in North Carolina just to shoot guns. <laughs> um, okay. The St. Petersburg authorities this year passed a law banning the promotion of homosexuality and pedophilia. I would be willing to wager that homosexuals and heterosexuals just kinda all agree that pedophilia is wrong. Why don't we just give an complete ban to pedophilia? Let's not give the 100 year ban. Okay, according to Russia, homosexuality and pedophilia are the same thing. Alright, so, so wrong. Okay. And why is it 100 years? Why did they pick a century? 100 years? You're pretty, you're pretty confident that the, uh, your law is gonna be in effect for a hundred years if you do that. Alright, for our last story of the first episode of Arrowinder Reads the News, I have this one coming from HuffingtonPost.com. Percy Melton, Houston teacher, allegedly has 53 pounds of marijuana in car. I'm sorry, that was the first line of this article. Per Percy Melton puts a new meaning into higher education. Did do 40-year-old Elsick High School science teacher was allegedly caught with 53 pounds of marijuana in her car. Melton was pulled over Tuesday morning while driving in Louisiana and on Interstate 10. The officer that pulled her over knows Melton was acting suspicious and asked her to search her vehicle. I'd be sus suspicious too if I had 53 pounds of weed in my car. Okay, I weigh about 150. So a third of my body weight. If a third of me was weed, is essentially what I would be carrying in my car. I'd be nervous too. Apparently the weed was worth about $120,000. 53 pounds is kind of significant, I would say. Why would you pick that number too? Why wouldn't you just stop at 50? Same thing with the gay ban and everything. Why, why is everyone going, like, not hitting 50? I like the number 50, but that's really not interesting at all, so I'm gonna end that there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that ends the very first episode of Arrowinder Reads the News. I really hope you enjoyed it. The um, links to all the articles are in the description, because I'm not making this stuff up, even though some journalists do. I'm not really a journalist, am I? What am I? A sarcastic reader of the news. I like it. Sarcastic reader of the news. I'm, I, kinda, I really like that. But, um, yes, if you want to see more videos, just right there. Neither of them are Arrow and the the News. They're both Call of Duty videos, but I hope you enjoy them. Um, subscribe to me down here. Um, leave a comment even further down here in the comment section. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. Tell me what you thought about it. I really hope you enjoy it. I will be uh, fully doing these videos quite often because they're not the most difficult to do. They are, in terms of editing, they're just, they're a lot of fun too. I love doing them. So I hope you like this. I hope you have a great day and... Peace.